have you heard of the drug metaphetamine that is fondly called by the youths in the southeast and the south south part of nigeria as mboromiri do not be misled by the name mboromiri it is not an ice block and nowhere near water metaphetamine is a central nervous system stimulant that increases the level of dopamine in the brain, thereby distracting a whole lot about the cognitive thinking, behavior, information processing in the brain of anyone that consumes it. So in this video, I will not be talking so much about the pharmacological profile of methamphetamine or its mechanism of action because I have already done justice to that in my blog. I would be attaching the link www.farmhabitat.com. You would see that in the comment section. For those of you who do not know me, my name is pharmacist Julia Chinelo, the founder of Farm Abita. And you can also explore via the link to see what Farm Abita is all about. And connect to us in any way you want to, if you want to keep in touch. So let's get start started with the sign of this drug that is um, destroying the lives of our future leaders in the eastern region of Nigeria and also anywhere else in the world. I'm paying attention to Nigeria in particular because all of a sudden there is a huge spike in the consumption rate of methamphetamine and some people who consume it do not actually know there is a drug of Added, they just know that when they take this substance, it keeps them at a, a level, they stay happy and deal with a lot of irritation around our community recently. So, as a parent or a caregiver or just as a person, what are the signs of um what are the signs that someone is consuming methamphetamine? I would be listing the signs so that you can help your loved ones, help your young adults or anyone around you because anyone who consumes this drug is just equal to a gunner. Yeah. So the first um, sign you would notice is increase in wakefulness, physical activity, overwhelming energy. And this is why people in sports usually... Um, misuse the drug the second reason is decreased appetite uh, in medical science we often use um the side effect of this decreased appetite of this drug to fight obesity so is the first sign you will see in your young adults not being able to finish their food not taking any choice in the favorite food you would know something is up faster breathing for people who are getting introduced into this drug, the first sign you will see is the person always breathing at a faster rate than usual, always panting as if um, something or somebody is after him or her. So the um, next um, sign that you would notice when your um, young adult um, is consuming this drug is increasing blood pressure. Yeah. Because of how the drug work, it increases, um, it can cause um, increase in blood pressure and also the temperature being high where there is nothing in the system triggering it to rise. The temperature will just be high and when the person goes to the hospital, um, there will be no bacteria that is triggering the uh, body temperature to go up or any other underlying health condition then suspect that you're a young adult then the next one i would like to talk about is it increases anxiety the person will, would appear to be so anxious especially for your young adult or someone that you know that there's nothing happening around that should make the person anxious but suddenly the person um becomes um increasingly anxious all the time and also severe depression 
because of the way the drugs work it takes you high to that level of happiness and brings you down making you severely depressed as well and the most um traumatizing um sign of it and if consumed extensively is that it can lead to full-blown psychosis that is madness ara the person can just uh, go mad out um, on the street and you will be thinking that your enemies or somebody is after you. Please do not allow it get to that level. And also, the silent sign that um, you should watch out as a parent or caregiver is intense craving for this um, drug metamphetamine which increases the child's expenses the child will be asking for more money influencing the price of um, essential needs that uh, if you are the one still paying the bills and towards the tendency of the child to steal to keep up with the supply of this um, dangerous drug metamphetamine how dangerous is metamphetamine in fact, I consider it one of the most dangerous drugs to be addicted to because there is currently no known um, antagonist or antidote or a drug that you can use to treat um, the effect or to withdraw somebody from methamphetamine. The only known approach that is being used now is just a um, behavioral therapy gradually guiding the person and hopefully the person gradually withdrawing then come off the use of this dangerous drug so the good news again is that pharmabita is organizing a withdrawal class for our use that are addicted with methamphetamine on 25th of november and we have got 10 free seats for 10 early beds and if you miss those 10 free seats do not um do not hesitate to sign up via our website the link is below and we'll work it out with you on um, um sessions um what you can afford with our expert pharmacies trying to um withdraw you from the addiction of this dangerous drug and also i would just throw more light on the effects long-term effects of being on this drug methamphetamine and why i think the regulatory agencies the government individuals the community parents caregiver everyone should put hands together to make sure that we take this drug off our streets because if you look around now it is at every nook and cranny on the street i will just run through some of the effects for you to know that we are gradually losing our future leaders that's the youths if we keep quiet about this the first um effect is that excessive consumption of this drug can lead to a lot of central nervous system problems such as stroke at a very young age it can lead to heart attack and it can lead to organ problem which is now very popular in our society kidney failure liver and all of that so if you want to curb the number of people that suffer from this um, terminal diseases we have to do something about taking this drug metamphetamine off our streets. And another one is severe, severe depression and also full-blown psychosis. Like I said earlier on, a vibrant young youth might just wake up one money and the person is completely mad. Yeah, when the effect of it get overboard. And the next one I would like to talk about is that consumption of this drug can lead to um, a severe, can lead to increase or chances or probability of the person suffering Parkinson's disease later on in life. That is, at the person's old age, that's if the person survives um, and gets to that age, 
because of the central nervous system will be losing grip and the brain and a whole lot of that the person might start having um parkinson early in life even when it is when it shouldn't have happened and it's not in the genetics or the lineage of the person so it's a big concern and will be a huge um will be a huge problem on our medical system and also to the family financially and otherwise and the other effect i would like to talk about is emotional impairment there's no better way to explain this other than to tell you that um emotionally the person gets impelled and that is the more reason why most drug barons and addicts are casanovas that that emotional feelings and all of that is beyond their control because of the distortion they have done to their brains and the final one i would like to be talking about today is cognitive impairment cognitive impairment is when the when the person is unable to acquire knowledge, if he's a, a young person still in school, unable to concentrate in class, unable to get what the teacher is talking about, and if it is a, someone learning skills, unable to learn tailoring, unable to acquire basic skills or understand what is, it means to learn carpentry or plumbing, plumbing or any other job. And it can also impair the person's understanding. When you explain something to the person, the person will not be able to understand it as a normal person because there's a lot going on in the brain. And also the person cannot process information and make informed decision. What is a life? A life, what is a life? What is someone living for if you cannot make process information and make an informed decision that means the person is exposed to a lot of risk and dangers in our society and i doubt um one example i would give you is again this uh drug barons and all of that they because of their impaired judgment you will see them not um using precautions applying precautions in your daily lives for example you would um see someone um that is um, a drug addict if you advise the person or counsel the person yes come down the person will be like um the um the pros and cons of using condom the pleasure and that i get i weigh it um the chances it's just better i don't use it and you see a whole lot of them coming down with um, sexually transmitted diseases hiv and all of that because of that simple impaired decision of knowing who and who not to get um involved with sexually and knowing when to use condom and all of that and in all the areas of life they make that impaired decision that affect their general well-being at the workplace um they don't deliver efficiently and the life just get um crumpled complicated and um they just suddenly get in, engulfed with depression and all of that so please um if you are addicted to this drug this is a call for you to save yourself from the impending doom and also if you know anyone who needs this information or who is addicted to this drug share so that the person can get the needed help before things go out of hand bye for now julia chinelo see you next time